I was back last week, but it feels like it was a bit of an informal introduction. I accidentally took a bit of a break from YouTube, which wasn't planned. It wasn't like a dramatic hiatus. I was so busy with the different other things. I've got the blog, which in case you didn't know, I blog. Also started a new account called the Insecure Girls Club, which is basically a platform to kind of talk about our insecurities and vulnerabilities in a safe space online, which is, I don't know, I feel like the word insecure has such negative connotations and what I really wanted from doing a platform is to kind of almost bust the myth that you can't be confident or successful or any of those things and still have insecurities or still feel unsure. So yeah, I've been focusing on that, I've been doing lots of videos over there, so if you want to have a look that'd be wonderful. So I've been getting my video fix from that, which I really enjoyed doing, I really prefer being behind the camera, but I do like talking a lot. <laughs> I do like the sound of my own voice. I really wanted to come back and kind of get back on with fashion videos. I really do enjoy doing them. I do a lot of stuff on my blog and Instagram and it is nice because I like to frequent stories quite a lot where I'm chatting a lot about clothes but it's nice to sit down and actually kind of pull something together that has a bit more use if that makes sense. I'm also on like this like buffet footstool thing um, which sounds like it's filled filled with rice um, so if you hear that it either sounds like the ocean or rice in like one of those like primary school instruments so apologies for that but today I want to talk to you about my autumn wardrobe so basically a few of the things I've acquired over the last like two months really my autumn wardrobe isn't dramatically different to what it was last year there's a lot of things I'm still wearing getting a lot of use out of there's the and other stories coat that was in my Bristol video that I'm, I'm still exhausting I love it and I think that's still online actually so that's quite cool but there's a lot of things I just buy and I like to wear and I think this year especially I'm really I feel like I'm in a place that my wardrobe I wouldn't say it's a capsule wardrobe but I feel like there's just things that I know I'll wear a lot and I don't need to rebuy, I don't need to replace. I'm just like, no, that worked last year, this that can work again. And yeah, so I just thought I'd show you a few of the newer things. Um, a few things I picked up when I was traveling recently, so I went to Chicago and LA. Yeah, no, it's good to be back. It kind of feels a little bit like having a phone call with someone you haven't in a while and you just pick up the phone and you're just like, so hi, how's it been? This is what I've been up to. So apologies if it's a little bit like that, but let's get on. I've got a little pile of things here that I want to talk to you about. And yeah, without further ado, let's go. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is this bag from Mango. It's so beautiful. I've actually tied a scarf to it, which is from H&M. Um, so that, I mean, I wouldn't always wear it with a scarf. It's quite, quite um, out there. But I picked this up quite recently, actually, before I went to the US. I really, really love white in winter. I think it's so cool. And it's a really nice way of like transitioning a really bright summer wardrobe into the colder months. I think with white jeans and things, people write them off as a real summer piece. Um, and I get it, maybe it's because there's more mud and rain and things in the winter that people are just like, no, oh, the risk is too much. But um, I've been wearing a lot of white. I love it with a big chunky coat. I think it looks really cool. There's a couple of girls I love on Instagram who I think are based in Copenhagen. I think there's Hannah Stephenson and I can't remember the other girl's name, but one of her friends and they kind of, I feel like Scandi bloggers do it so well where they wear like white but with like a really beautiful bright coat or offset it with different colours and it looks amazing and that's that's something I'm trying out. I feel like little white accents, if you're not prepared to do the jeans, like white bags, I've got a pair of white boots here I'm going to talk to you about in a minute, um, are really cool. So this is a great bag, it's got this really gorgeous bow detail at the top, which I think is quite nice, it's kind of got that... Um, um, acne thing, I was like Loewe, I don't know, I'm just enlisting fancy brands but um, it's really lovely, it's really soft and it fits so much in which is something I'm a real sucker for um, I can fit my big DSLR camera in there which I don't think it's actually made for but it's just really lovely, I wore it a lot when I was away I wore it with these like check trousers and like a kind of minty green colour and that looks amazing together so really been enjoying that on the subject of white, I'm going to talk to you about these, sorry it's really annoying the sound, um, these boots from And Other Stories which I absolutely love. Their clothes in general are, are my favourite and these boots are something that I added to my wardrobe quite recently. I really wanted a little pair of like white 60s inspired ankle boots. Um, my nan used to have a pair that looks amazing. So I say 60s, but they, they also are quite 80s. But I really, really love the style of the girls in first aid kit. And I went to see them recently and they are just so amazing at rocking a cool boot, like a white boot or a cowboy boot with gorgeous midi dresses. And I don't know, I felt inspired to pull these back out because I just think, I don't know, they, they add a bit of interest to an outfit, especially 
at this time of year I think it's so easy to coordinate everything with the colour that you're wearing, especially because I love like browns and rust colours and reds and maroons, it's so easy to kind of go black, brown, tan and just pull it all together, whereas I think adding something like this is a bit like, oh, a little bit unexpected and they're so comfortable. One of my friends saw them and she was like, well, are they the Celine ones? And I was like, mm, no. But um, they look, they're really cool, they're really comfortable and they're just really soft, great boots, so I love those. Another thing I picked up recently excuse the hanger, is this dress from Keytree, which is one of those brands online that I absolutely love. They have the most amazing designer, they have the best pieces, they're a really nice kind of middle, middle point brand, so they're kind of similar to like whistles and finery, in the sense that they just have these gorgeous unique pieces that don't feel the same as everything else but are still at quite an accessible price point, which I really love. Um, I've got one of their knits down here as well, but I love this dress. I haven't worn a smock in such a long time. Um, it feels a bit like a throwback shape for me, but I love it with like cowboy boots. I think it looks really cool, kind of Heim-like. Um, it's got these really pretty, like cuffed um, sleeves, which I think are beautiful as well. This really pretty kind of ruffled neck, really pretty, I kept saying really pretty there. But yeah, it's just really gorgeous, it looks really nice with tights, really great with bare legs. I know this time of year it's not really bare leg season, but I've really been enjoying that and just enjoying wearing dresses again. They were something that I always kind of kept for summer, and I think in the last few years I've mainly worn jeans in winter, so I'm trying to get out of that. Have another dress here, which I'm going to mention. Okay, so this is the next dress I'm going to talk to you about, and again, it's around other stories. This is one I got before I went to LA, and I loved wearing it. It was a really nice kind of warm autumn dress, mainly because of the colour, but I feel like it's got that really cool 70s style print. I wore it with um, like faded kind of sunglasses and little high top, like he said sneakers then, I was like, wow, I've been in the US too long. Um, little trainers, like high top supagas, which I loved, but equally I'm really excited to wear this back at home, I think with little tights, little biker jacket, little everything, <laughs> little this, little that, it will look really lovely, and it just is a really great piece, I think you could layer it quite nicely as well, I think you could probably put like a roll neck on underneath, I'm really, really loving this, very excited, it's just, it's nice having pieces like that, which you know, will last in your wardrobe, they're not the kind of pieces that you have to take out when it gets warmer or when it gets to April, they're just things that are kind of evergreen throughout the year which I really love and I think is really important and that's definitely something that I'm trying to have more of in my wardrobe, just things I know I can wear in winter and summer, like white jeans, dresses like that, that just kind of stand the test of seasons. A couple of things I picked up in the US which are sitting here, first things first is this blouse. The one thing I need to definitely work on that I haven't worked on in the two months I've not uploaded is getting things nicely prepared <laughs> for when I talk about them because I just haven't, I've just not done it. So it's this vintage blouse which I picked up in Chicago and I think on the hanger it doesn't look quite as cool as it does on but I was obsessed with it. Chicago had some of the most exciting vintage I've come across in a really long time and I don't know, I feel like in London I feel like I've just seen a lot of it, there's lots of 80s jumpers, there's lots of rows of, just it's quite hard to sift through vintage in London, I feel like there's not as much of a variety, but in the US it's just en masse, there's so much of it, and I picked this up, it was between this and another one, it's very 70s, it's got this really lovely big pointy collar, it is a little bit big, you can kind of see where the kind of neat, like where the cut is, that it's almost made for someone with a slightly bigger bust, um, but it doesn't seem to hang that way, I think you can tie it up really nicely and it looks really cool with denim and white jeans and little skirts and I don't know, I just really like the colours on it, I thought it was a really nice autumnal piece and equally when I was over in the US I was like, I could wear it now and that's really what I wanted. I also picked up this jacket which I absolutely love, it's so cool, um, it's by a brand called Fire Islander which, mmm. I just thought it was really good, it really reminded me of like the Manso Gabrielle kind of bags and just, I just thought it was lovely, it was five dollars as well which is, I don't know, like three pounds um, in this shop in LA and I can't remember what it's called, I'll pop the, just pop in the description the name so if you are in LA it might be worth swinging, it had so much stuff though, it was one of those ones that me and Carrie walked in and we were like, 
oh my god, am I going to find anything in here? But I just thought this was really, really cool. Again, it would be nice this kind of time of year with like knit underneath and white denim trainers but equally in the summer I think that would be amazing with like a small white dress and yeah it was a really nice thing because it fit, fitted really well and I think for that price I don't know it just seemed like something I know I get a lot of wear out of and it's I don't know I think the vintage something I like to do is like look at it and think if I saw that in Topshop if I saw that online or on I don't know Netta Porter would I get really excited and if the answer is yes then you're like why are you questioning it um and this got all yeses and I'm really happy with it Continuing the jacket chat, I want to talk to you about something that I have worn a surprisingly large amount and something I'm so excited about and it is this jacket and I've got the trousers down there but it's this suit from Under the Stories which I'm in love with. Um, I saw this jacket a couple of months ago and I remember seeing it on their website and I was like oh my god that's just amazing and since I've seen quite a few different people have come out with like similar options but this was the one that I just love the fit of the most. I tried on a few and I love the fact it's double breasted. I love how it looks with like black jeans. I love that it's got the matching trousers which look really cool and it's just a really nice piece. I feel like with a lot of my suit jackets they're just not thick enough for this time of year whereas this is brilliant. It looks really cool with a roll neck, a little band t-shirt and it's just a really great colour and they've got some really amazing suits online at the moment. They've got something like this in camel which I think is slightly, it's single breasted and I think it's almost like a smaller cord. This is kind of more of a jumbo cord. It's weird because it's one of those things that typically you might be like, how much are you going to wear a cord suit? And I've really surprisingly worn it about three times already, which for anything in our wardrobes I think in a short space of time is quite a lot, especially something as statement as that. Um, and I've worn them as separates as well which is really nice and I think a lot of the time with suits I always get both things and I never wear them together because I'm like I can't do it um, but that's something that I've worn separately and it looks really cool the trousers are great as well really comfortable so yeah there's that two more things to talk about I feel like I haven't drawn breath um, maybe this is what happens when you're not on YouTube for a bit you come back and you just do not draw breath because you're talking so much one jacket I did pick up was this one which is from Warehouse, and I got this, this is another one that I got perhaps in September, I saw it and it really reminded me of one that Alexa Chung had maybe a couple of years ago, it was like a cropped teddy coat in this beautiful kind of bluey indigo colour, and this is it, this is the jacket, and it's really chunky, I almost feel a little bit like Bane in it, um, in Batman, Spider-Man, Batman. It's just got this huge, enormous collar and these brilliant lapels, but I just, it's just so cosy and it's, it looks really nice with like skinny jeans and chunky boots to kind of balance out the proportions. I think with a jacket like this, you almost need like a slim jean and then a chunky boot to kind of weigh it out. And this is really gorgeous. It's just really cosy and I do, I love a teddy coat. That's one thing I feel like in my wardrobe will always stand the test of time. It's a really great fluffy teddy coat and that's what this is and it's just brilliant it fits a good bit of knitwear underneath this, this which kind of you do look kind of enormous in it because it's a it's a pretty enormous coat but i think in winter the cozier the better and it's absolutely brilliant so i love that one more thing which is inside out because i literally just took it off and it is this jumper from keep tree again the brand i was mentioned earlier I am loving this kind of colour for this time of year, like I love a, a greeny blue, um, something a bit brighter that really livens up wardrobe and I think this kind of, I don't know, it's got that kind of summery look to it, but I think tucked in, I'm trying to tuck it in now, tucked in with white denim, it looks really gorgeous and it's just really snuggly and they just have a really gorgeous selection of knitwear at the moment, I think they're more, they've got this in all sorts of colours, I think it comes in like a yellow and a lilac and just everything, but I was really looking for something in this shade. I saw it styled in a shop when I was on holiday this year in Bordeaux with like camel kind of cords and like white bands and it looked really nice. It's just this kind of colour really is a really lovely shade for this time of year. I think this with camel looks really cool, tan, and it's just a little bit like, I don't know, like I said this time of year it can be quite predictable in terms of what to expect and it's nice to be able to pull things up your wardrobe in those brighter colours and feel like they can still get their wear. So that is what's kind of going on in my autumn wardrobe at the moment. Um, 
they're the things I've picked up and I feel like there's not going to be an awful amount of shopping now until maybe January or February. I've kind of got everything that I really feel like I need and it's just about how I'm going to be styling it. So maybe in a couple of weeks I will do one of my five outfits again. I love doing those videos, just things that I've really got and re-wearing and styling up. It feels nice to be back filming. It kind of got to a point where I think... I don't know, I didn't really know my place on YouTube and I don't really love doing vlogs so I was like I don't really know what I can offer and I don't know, I think when you take time away from something it makes you kind of reevaluate it and I love doing my wardrobe series, I've got another one coming up very soon and I love just sitting having a natter. But yes, if you want to catch up with things I've been up to there is the Insecure Girls Club, there's the podcast which I do with Charlotte. Um, so if you didn't know about that I'm gonna link, I'll link everything below so you can catch up. But thank you so much for watching, I will be back for next week. Um, and yeah, I will, yeah, stay tuned, I'll see you soon.